Rumors are swirling that Prince Albert of Monaco is seeking a divorce from his wife, Charlene Whitstock. The news has sent shockwaves through the royal community, with many speculating about the reasons behind the reported split. Before we proceed, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. According to sources close to the palace, Prince Albert has been considering divorce for some time due to irreconcilable differences with his wife. The couple has been married since 2011 and has two children together, but their relationship has been subject to scrutiny and speculation in recent years. Charlene Whitstock, a former Olympic swimmer, has been open about her struggles with depression and anxiety which some believe may have put a strain on the marriage. Additionally, there have been rumors of infidelity and disagreements over their children's upbringing. Despite the rumors, the palace has not confirmed the reports and neither Prince Albert nor Charlene Whitstock has publicly commented on the situation. However, sources suggest that the couple has been living separate lives for some time, with Prince Albert focusing on his royal duties and Charlene dedicating herself to her charitable work. The news of a possible divorce has sparked a heated debate among royal watchers, with some defending the couple's right to privacy and others speculating about the future of the monarchy. If the divorce is confirmed, it would be the first in Monaco's history, and could potentially lead to a constitutional crisis. Prince Albert's decision to seek a divorce is reportedly driven by his desire to prioritize his children's well-being and ensure the stability of the monarchy. However, the situation remains uncertain, and only time will tell if the rumors are true and what the future holds for the royal couple. As the situation unfolds, one thing is clear, the people of Monaco are eager to know the truth about their beloved royal family. Whether or not Prince Albert and Charlene Whitstock decide to go their separate ways, their commitment to their children and the principality remains unwavering. 